or in your head. Um, dude, Bob, have you ever done any recording? Have you ever done any recording? Any arranging? Any mixing? Any after effects? Anything like that? If so, you are an amateur producer. Hey, listen. <clears throat> Sell from different dimensions. All right, but um, with D4, check it out. I'm going to do one of those screams. You know that scream that I do when I go, Ow! That's really basically all I'm doing. I'm giving you guys a little... <clears throat> Hold on, we're going to go full screen for this. Hold on, do I have a drink? I need to wet my mouth. Yes, I have some coffee. Okay. <clears throat> yes, that's what I'm saying, Bob. Now, make sure you put amateur in front of that shit because I've known so many people who will be like, yo, I'm a producer, I'm a producer, just because they recorded a couple songs. I am a very amateur producer. All right, so let's give you guys a little screaming lesson. The way I do my screams. Now, there's a couple different kinds of screams. There's the way I do it, which is a head scream. It's all kind of in here, back. Ah, you're just kind of... Got to got to got to close your throat and kind of talking like this. If you can do that, you can take that, and then you can go. Do you hear that? It's in my mouth. And then there's a diaphragm scream. And then there's that. And then there's of course the growl. Now the growl took me years to master. And the growl can go from low to high. But we're going to stay low today in Music 101. And we're going to go over the growl a little bit. Then we're going to go back over the, uh, the um, diaphragm scream, which is, in my opinion, the hardest. And then we're going to go back over and do the, uh, the um, fucking... Hold on, let me go back to the game. You guys don't want to see this. All right. Uh, so, the growl. If you can breathe in, if you've ever breathed in and talked like this, you can growl. You're breathing inwards, inward growl. If you can put just a little bit of rasp in your voice when you breathe in, you just take that and close your mouth around it. Make your mouth a cavern. <coughs> yeah, screamology, exactly, Supercan. All right, so growling again. You're breathing inward, and you're adding that little bit of gravel in the back there, and then you make your mouth a cavern. Pull, your, Curl your tongue up. As weird as that sounds. Hold on, curl your tongue up. Ah, like that. And by moving your tongue around and changing the shape of your mouth, you can change the tone of the, uh, of the, of the scream. Of the growl, I'm sorry. Let's do it again. We're going to start from low and go a little bit higher. <clears throat> <coughs> now, I have, haven't attempted this in a long time, guys. Yeah, uh, inward growl. I don't know if I can breathe in and sing, but, um, but growling I can do. Okay, so, all right. Uh, growling again. <gasps> inward breathing. <gasps> Put a little bit of put a little bit of uh, gravel in it. <clears throat> you can do that if you can do this. You can growl. Put a little gravel in it, and then curl your tongue upwards, almost to the roof of your mouth, near the back, as far back as you can possibly put it without gagging yourself. Um. um the, and then make your mouth a cavern around it, and the opening small. And you can move it from your throat to your head where it resonates by changing the shape of your mouth and tongue let's see let me do here's a here's a, uh, an example of the head growl it's all vibrating right here in my face and in my head and i can move it down to my throat and chest by by changing the shape here's a a, a, a neck a throat and chest growl and you can hear the difference in the uh in the um, in the resonance and, and 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 deepness of it. T W, welcome back, bro. Ah! Ah! So yeah, okay. So there's the growl. 
<coughs> I'll actually highlight this. I will actually highlight this. So, uh, and I'll call it Screamology 101 because that's not a bad idea. Somebody type exclamation point save, please. Anyone can, I must say. Um, now, what did I say we would go on to next? I said we would move on from the inward growl to the diaphragm scream. <laughs> It's, you're tensing up. If you're ever have you if you've ever been a singer, um, if you've ever been in like a chorus, a choir, the leader will like say, "Sing from your diaphragm," and you're, you're like tensing that muscle that draws the uh, air in your lungs, and you're pushing out slowly, and you're bringing it, and you're making it sound metal. Ah! Right. Well, <laughs> sorry, bro. I mean, what else could we talk about? We're just running. Through Day Z. And that was rude. Oh, my. <laughs> no, but for real, man, what else are we going to talk about? <laughs> While we're running down the roads of Chinaris. Um, so, yeah, there's the uh, the diaphragm. And I, I don't want to do that one. Dude, <laughs> quit trolling, bro. Listen. And that's the diaphragm scream. I'm not going to do that one so often because it's actually pretty loud. And I don't want to. What is this screamology you speak of? It's what we're talking about. Now we're going to go back to the head scream, and that's the scream I do when welcoming people into the studio because it does not stress your vocal cords. It's just the skin in the, in the back of your throat, right where your throat meets your mouth. Talk about the grass. Oh, the grass is very green, and there's a couple of lilacs, and oh, look, there's a yellow leaf. There, there's a yellow leaf right there. There's a little tan leaf, and we got a red leaf over there. No, okay, so we're going to go back to the... Uh, to the um, the head scream, and that's the scream I like. I said I, I use to welcome my guests into the uh, in, into the channel, and I do the head scream because it puts no stress on my vocal cords, and I can do it a hundred times a night without losing any of my voice. If any of you guys have wondered how I scream all night like that for wearing good, not wearing good clothes, that's a good reason. Um, that's how I do it. I, I scream by by using a little vibration in the back of my throat here, where your vocal cords are in your more in your chest or your neck area right here. With the scream that I'm doing vibrates right here. And you can do that if you just you just put a little bit more into it, and that's how you do it. <laughs> now, yeah, now the head. The, the quietest of the three would have to be the head scream. Um, and the loudest being the diaphragm scream. Um, but, but there we go. Jim Chris, what's going on, bro? And now that you have all attended Screamology, you know exactly how I just did that. What's going on, Jim Chris? It has been a while.